Debate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy. There, all finished. Carve away, Tabs. That's very nice. Whoa! <laughs> Whoopsie! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's <laughs> Tabs. I'm Peter. <sighs> that was a big sigh, Peter. Is something wrong? Yeah, I'm a little sad. Why are you sad? It's Halloween. I think a spider would love Halloween. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite holiday. But no one ever invites me to their parties because I'm too scary. That's a great idea, Tabs. We'll throw Peter a Halloween party and invite all of our Halloweeny friends to meet him. Really? For me? Oh, <laughs> thank you. I wonder how. Do you throw the best Halloween party? Oh, I know, I know. I'm a Halloween expert. First, we need spooky decorations to set the mood. And I know spooky. Yeah. You know what else we need? Halloween snacks for everyone. How about worms? Gummy worms. Oh, don't forget the scary cupcakes. And the finishing spooky touch. Halloween fruit punch. Now we just need Halloween costumes. I'm going as a pirate. Yar. I'm a construction worker. Nice avocado costume, Tabs. Dressing up is so much fun. Ooh, our guests. Right on time. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, goody. Wait a minute. Just one guest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. When ghosts get really eerie and pumpkins very cheery, witches do entrance and black cats start to dance. Spiders spin their webs and skeletons lose their heads. It's the scariest time you've ever seen. Must be Halloween. My very first Halloween party. <laughs> and I got to make so many new friends. And now I have the answer to my question. How do you throw the best Halloween party? To throw the best Halloween party, you need fun decorations, yummy snacks and treats, a good costume, and great friends. Upload answer tabs. Thanks so much for a fun party, Blippi. You're welcome, Peter. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Whoa, look at those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! 
You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a, a stuck stew paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. See you again. We make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! You look like a fireman! Now you look like a construction worker! <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out! I'm gonna need a grabber arm! Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Uh, uh, hey! Do you know any cowboys? Whoa there! <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to these for? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right range. Giddy up! But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right! I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> here, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. The cowboys wear these wide brim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy! But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool! Ooh! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> Whoopsie! Uh, cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring. Hop on. Let's ride! Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction of the cows to go toward the pen. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, this way. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. 
A real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats, ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> Blippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. Last one to splash has to take out the trash. <laughs> Wait, worms! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoon, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. What's that? La 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 la! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi! I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing! Everybody join in! La la la. Ah, <sighs> I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. Don't worry. That's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! What? We better get out of here! Wave? Hello? You're right, Debo. That does look like fun. Whee! Reason number two. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster. That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um. La, 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 la. Oh, that's right. Number three, to find a friend. I love the rain. I love the rain too. We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question Why do worms come out in the rain? Worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La 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 la. <laughs> bye bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Look at all the blinking fireflies. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I love counting. Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly. What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder. Why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shh, 
shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look at all those different flashing patterns! Maybe it's a counting game! One, two, three! One, two, three! Whoops! Huh? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey! I'm Felicia! And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink! One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> you again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time! <laughs> Devo! <laughs> I like your style, Devo. I've never seen moves like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style. And with style like that, I just can't stop. Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy! Felicia saves the day! <sighs> Works every time. Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi! Will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah! Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it! We found your match! Now that's my style. <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three, one, two, three. Halloween is the best, Tabs. And I love trick-or-treating, too. Hey, look! A haunted house! Whoa! Look at all the decorations! So cool! You're right, Tabs. Maybe there are treats inside. Hmm, I wonder. What's inside a haunted house? Let's find out. Ready, Tabs? Tabs! Whoa. I better go into the haunted house to find tabs. This should be fun! Hi! It's me, Blippi. I'm looking for my friend Tabs. Have you seen her? Hi, Blippi. I'm Mr. Pumpkin. Was that a ghost? Probably, yeah. I haven't seen Tabs, but you can look for her in this house full of magical and spooky fun. Great! Maybe my friend Bones has seen Tabs. He's in the basement. I'd start by taking the stairs. All right. Ooh, wee! <laughs> he turned into a slide. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Tabs? Hello? Whoa! Sorry. Don't worry. It happens all the time to Bones. Maybe he's seen tabs. <laughs> I better sweep him up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, Whee! Sorry again, Bones. Whoa, maybe that flying ghost knows where tabs is. Let's follow it. <laughs> whoa, hi, witch. Bye, witch. Hmm. Well, I guess this is a dead end. I wonder where everyone went. <laughs> cool! 
a spinning wall. Whoa! Woohoo! Congrats, Flippy! You made it all the way through my haunted house. The tricks are over, but now it's time for the trees! But wait, I still haven't found tabs. <laughs> tabs? You were the ghost the whole time? Well, now I have the answer to my question. What's inside a haunted house? Fun, spooky skeletons, cobwebs, a talking pumpkin, spiders, a witch, and a floating tabs ghost. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for letting us have fun in your house, Mr. Pumpkin. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Activate Flippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder, would a dinosaur make a good pet? Good thinking! We'll go back in time to find out! I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! That's right, we're in the Cretaceous period. Millions of years ago when the Earth was filled with dinosaurs! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi, I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina, we were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. Whoa, do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm, let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo. Go fetch, Tina. Whoa! Whoopsies. Sometimes I forget my size. Us T-Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long. Wow, that's so big. Hey, let's go for a walk, Tina. Whoa, look at all of those teeth. tells me that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Edit time. <laughs> It's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <laughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. 
I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippy. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush! <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? <laughs> Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, uh -huh. which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! Huh? 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 Chew! Thanks! F for chew! Huh, something is making me sneeze! Hmm, I wonder, why do people sneeze? <laughs> Yes! It's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is Ready for adventure! Woohoo! Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hello! Hey! It's me, Flippy! Who are you? My name's Petunia! And I'm a piece of pollen! I may be small, but I can make big things happen! <laughs> like a sneeze? You got it! When I'm around people, I bother them! <laughs> I especially like bothering noses. Come on, bounce with me. Oh, don't worry, it's a nose. It's not going to bite. Plus, it's fun. <laughs> so, this will make someone sneeze? This is just the start, since a sniff is coming. Watch out. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> It looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair. It's here to keep pollen like me, and plus other things like dust particles, out of your nose. Oh, well, it won't work. Oh, it's fun to be irritating. Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, now a tissue's coming for us. Run! Oh, right. They're really bothering this nose now. <laughs> Take all my is the sneeze coming? It is! <laughs> na 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 na! Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! Boogers! We did it! Yes, 
And I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. <laughs> great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Whoa. Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo! And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello! <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> My second favorite thing is oranges. They are so juicy and sweet. Mmm. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. We can make orange juice. <laughs> Follow me. Okay, my third favorite thing is musica. I love music. Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa! You're welcome, Paco! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> To celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at that. Tabs? It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The 
Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Flippy. What's your name? Hit please the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. You land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippy. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Snackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Bliffy. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one! <laughs> yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm. I wonder, how does an eraser work? <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hmm, even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything. <gasps> Disappear! Even pencil markings! That's amazing! Come see! It's the best show in town! The tip of the pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark! Cool! Uh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Huh? I got it! Phew! That 
was close. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh. That's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car! It's going so fast! You're right, the Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo! We can go to the racetrack and find out! I'm gonna need race car tires! Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain, do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. 
Bye, Ricardo. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Default Chow. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. <laughs> So much fun to go trick or treating with everyone. Let's take a look in a haunted house. But I'm not scared, can't say the same for that mouse. Bubbling cauldrons and a witch's room. Let's go for a ride and sing this tune. Ha ha, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Gets up and walks. You have to come and see from near and far. There's a pirate spider who will greet you with an R. There's so much fun on Halloween. So many costumes and friends to see. <laughs> Forget to go and trick or treat. You'll have lots of candy that we can all eat. Ha ha, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Oh, who's that? together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Ah, uh, y'all, welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, 
I'll jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right, my antennas are twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all, bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. Okay, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up. <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to Outer Space. I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa, we should go. We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. 
Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Driving at night is so much fun. And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa, what was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder. Why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Devo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. Woo! Ha ha! Come on, keep up! Rita, you aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Act 
Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're Debo, my string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note! <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> Now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it low! Thank you! Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud, like a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth! <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank, Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking.